Hello and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing. This is uh, day 49. I'm guessing you're wondering what's so special about today. Well, someone moved out. And I am very disappointed to announce that it was Tangy. I don't know why Tangy moved out, but alas. It'd be like that sometimes. Also, so I was walking around and uh, I had my net out and I happened to catch a banded dragonfly. So yeah, that happened. Oh, Red is also here. And uh, he actually had something really good on him. Lo and behold, he had an NES game. Clue Clue Land. Now, I'm absolutely horrible at this one. In fact, I didn't even know Clue Clue Land was even in this game. The only thing I've seen of Clue Clue Land is, like, the Smash Bros. trophies. But, like, from what I've seen of this, it's really hard to control. Oh, wait, maybe that's because I was using a... Oh, okay. You know what, it's a lot easier when you're not using the control stick. But basically there's all these hidden like gems and whatnot, and you gotta you gotta kinda cruise around as this little guy. And like uncover the whole picture. You see they all connect and then there's the little spiky dudes that are uh, items in Smash Bros. They begin with the letter U. And I'm not about to butcher their names, so I'm not even going to attempt it. You could defeat him, though, by, like, neutralizing them with his beam and then smashing them into a wall. Like this. Ah, note to self. Don't fall in the portal. Portal bad. See, it's... There we go. I mean, it's hard to... It's hard to get a turn on this. Come on. There we go. It's a house. We did it. So yeah, that's uh, that's more or less Clue Clue Land in a, in a uh, nutshell. Pretty cool. Again, super happy that that's in this game. Also, uh, I might as well show this little guy off, which I I completely forgot to do this. But yeah, yeah, he's peeing. Thank you, humanity. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Yeah, we've seen this from Tangy. Oh, let me check out some of these gyroids while I'm down here. Nah, I'm not a big fan of the Buzzoid. The Dinkster. Yo, he would be great for the space room. Okay, he's he's going upstairs. How about the Poltergoid? Not bad. I might keep him down here with KK Western playing. I already saw the Buzzoid. Oh, wait. Oh, I have two Buzzoids. Okay. Let me sp find a spot for this, this Poltergoid. Hmm. Space is pretty limited up here, huh? That wasn't... That didn't mean to be a pun. But a pun it was. I like that. I need to move all that space stuff down to the middle room. The thing is, I just don't have a matching wallpaper, but I've been over that. I suppose I suppose you're wondering who moved in. 
Well, we got our resident right down here, one acre down from the pond, so that would be E5. Also, the town is still perfect, and I believe we're about a week away from getting a very special present from the wishing well itself. Here's our new resident, Patty. Let's see if Patty has anything to do. Blue Bear the Moocher, huh? And of course, let's check out her house. While I do like the Cabana series, and I'm a really big fan of this house, it really does not come anywhere close to the wondrous house that, uh, that Tangy had. I'm not gonna lie. Like, aside from Murphy, who's got the toilets, the Tangy was by far my favorite house in this village. And it, it saddens me to see Tangy go. Oh no, that's Goose's house. There's Blue Bear. That was easy. Someone find me the staples button. Hmm. So yeah. You know, the days have been roughly the same. Log on, check to see what Nook has. The only interest, super interesting thing was Red, but he's he's gone again. Oh, and the Bandit Dragonfly, which I'm about to donate. Yeah, I was incredibly shocked with like how bad my luck was for getting Bandit Dragonfly this time around. I feel like when I'm not looking for it, I run into like. You know, probably at least, like, I would say, like, two per week, something like that. But, like, man, I've had hour. I've spent a good amount of hours trying to get this one, and I just found it randomly today, so that was weird. I've heard that Tom Nook pays quite a fair price for a specimen such as this. Thank you for your generosity. But all that nonsense aside, this is a colossal dragonfly, of course. Of course, that merely makes it colossally repulsive. And that's all he can say about this lad. Let me go check it out. There it is. So much pain in that one dragonfly. I can't tell you how many times I went hunting in like the beach acres or the museum acre, anything like that, and it'll like, it'll fly into the side of the building before I'm even there and it just flies straight up and out of here. Or if it's at the ocean, it just flies straight out to the ocean, never to be seen again. And that's the, that's the hard part about catching them. Their speed, they're always so fast as soon as you enter the acre, so where was I when I caught it? It's a good question. Let me try to reenact it. I think it was Vesta's house. I literally walked here and it was like right there. Because it kind of, it bounced off of Vesta's front door and was just kind of like idle for a second right here, right as I entered the acre from the left. So I had just enough time to react to it. And that has been my, uh, my dragonfly hunting experience. It's like the seventh weed I picked today. It's crazy. I must have missed one at least two other days. Nothing too new in the dump here. Jagged shirts and yellow umbrellas and bunches of paper and a violin. Oh, and Patty's pe Pokemon Pikachu. Almost forgot. Come to think of it, I don't think I hit the money rock today. Might as well try that on my way. So yeah, things have definitely been going here. Uh, kind of haven't had too much time to make videos. Super busy with work, school, the like. Mm. 
But you know, 10 minutes of Animal Crossing a day is always, always nice. No, you don't, Patty. You're not getting away from me. How now? Brown cow? I just realized that's her, uh... The catchphrase. Oh, yes. More paper. <laughs> I think I've gotten more paper in the last, like, three days of Animal Crossing than... Like, by, by far more furniture than I've had in the last, like, week or two. No luck there. Uh, I think there's two more ro- I thought I dug all these up today. Like I said, what's happening? I've got nine letters to send, and I will get right on that. Goodbye, Tangy. You will be missed. on the second level. Okay. I know there's one over here. Line it up. There it is. Excellent. off from finishing the debt. I think I'll swing by the police station to ask Copper if anyone's coming in the next few days. I would really like to see Wendell. give him any fish. And definitely not a red snapper every time. <laughs> Katrina is coming on the 27th. Isn't that... Oh no, it's not tomorrow. I was going to say, isn't that tomorrow? No, it's Friday. Stop in at Nooks. Sell the snake head and the two gyroids. You know what? I should really get some more um, furniture here. I didn't buy anything today, so let's let's go crazy. By that traffic cone there in this figure. I wonder if the metronome switches with uh, the song in the background. Probably not. In fact, definitely not, considering I don't even think it's really working with this song. That's good enough for today. Yeah, the return on investment is definitely not perfect there, but tickets, you know.
Goose and Teddy are out for a walk. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I will catch you all later. And uh, yeah, see ya.